we'd like to welcome everyone to our fourth and final um, NCAA Women's Basketball Practice Day press conference here for first round games from the Earth Frank Irwin Center on the campus of the University of Texas. I'm your press conference moderator, Barb Colo, and I'm happy to be joined by Fairfield University head coach, Joe Frager, and graduate guard, Rachel Hakes, and senior forward, Lou Lopez Senechal. Coach, Rachel, and Lou, welcome. Congratulations on your selection to the tournament. Just a few quick notes for those people who are with us in attendance. Uh, please state your name and your affiliation prior to asking a question. We ask the same of the people who are here remotely in the virtual environment. Use the raised hand function uh, to ask a question if you're in the virtual environment. Um, with no further ado, Coach, if you'd like to make an opening statement, and then we'll take questions for your student athletes. Sure, thank you very much. Um, we're ecstatic to be here. Um, I know that during the selection show and we saw that we were uh, playing uh, Texas, we were all very excited. Austin's a, a beautiful, beautiful city. Um, the weather's warmer than it is in Connecticut. <laughs> and we know that Texas has got an outstanding program. So we're just really looking forward to the challenge. We've had a, a really, really special season. We've had a great group on this team, great leadership to my right and throughout the program and a senior laden team. So uh, we're excited to, to tee it up and, and challenge ourselves tomorrow night. Thank you, Coach. We'll uh, start with a question over here from uh, Dan Danielle Lerner. She is with the Houston Chronicle. Uh, for both of you guys, uh, if you would, you know, Texas is obviously on a, a huge win streak, but so are you. Do you think that um, that's going to kind of make it a battle of these two teams that are, are hot right now? Yeah, I'm sure it's it's going to be a great game. I mean, you know, we're both in the in the NCAA tournament and I think it's um, both of us are going to be very excited to compete and for us it's it's our first time so uh, for sure not going to leave anything we're going to leave everything on the court and not have any regrets so it's I think it's it's going to be a great game. Yeah, I think we're just super excited for the matchup. Um, I mean, we watched Ch Texas go on their hot winning streak, and we've had one of ours. So we're just trying to look to continue our own special season as long as we possibly can. And I know for this guy right here, it's, it's his kind of swan song as well. Does that make it more special for you guys, or are you trying not to think about that at this point? I mean, obviously, we don't, we don't want anything to end. Uh, but I think that we've had such a special season so far that we're going to, as Rachel said, we want to keep it going as far as we can. Yeah, I mean, Coach obviously means a lot to us, um, and we've kind of been playing this season for him, and um, in a lot of ways we're playing it for ourselves too because we do have a senior-laden crew who's been together for the past four years, so um, we're just looking to continue as far as we can. And as a reminder for the media in attendance, if you could address questions to the student-athletes first, and then, uh, then we'll follow up with questions for Coach later. Next question from Danny Davis of the Austin American Statesman. Question for either Lou or Rachel. How much does that senior leadership and experience and this roster full of veterans kind of, how much do you think that's helped you all this, this season? Yeah, I mean, I think it's carried us um, a lot, especially through our conference play. We haven't always been up at halftime or we've maybe dropped some leads in the third quarter, um, but we've always put it together even in our MAC championship game. Um, we went into half down five and we could have really closed it probably with a 10 or 15 point win, it ended up being a five point game, but we really relied on our senior leadership and just the poise that we have and the trust that we have in this group. And I know coach has put a lot of trust in me as his point guard on the floor, um, just giving me play calls and kind of letting me run the show. Um, and I know all the girls out there like trust each other and, and trust what he's been doing. Yeah, being together for um, um, four years now and, and growing together, I think it helped us on the court and we can definitely see that on the court when, when we play all together um, as a senior leadership for, for the rest of the team too. Yeah, you guys have played some you know, tough competitions, um, the Indianas, the Florida Gulf Coast. Do you guys think about those losses or do you, since they're so far away or did they, or do you think about them because they may have t might have taught you all something? I mean, I think we never forget what happened during the season and um, coming tomorrow to play Texas, um, being an, a great one of the best team in the in the in the country, I think we um, we remember ourselves that we play against great teams during the year and that we can um, compete against these type of teams, and that's why we we're gonna be ready for tomorrow. 
Yeah, I mean, I honestly would love to get another crack at some of those teams that we had in early in our <laughs> non-conference <laughs> schedules, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think that we really grew as a group, especially in our conference season, and so I think we could have probably turned some of those losses into wins at this point. Um, what's in the past is in the past. I'm just glad that we had the opportunity to, to go out to some places like Florida Gulf Coast and Indiana and gain that experience, and I think it'll really help us as Texas brings in a, a big crowd tomorrow. The next question or questions is gonna come from Jim Vertuno with the Associated Press. Jim? You've got the team with the senior leadership. Texas is driven of late by a freshman guard. I'm sure you've scouted her a little bit, Harmon. Her teammates give her so much credit for what she does on the defensive end. What are you expecting from her and what, what kind of particular challenge is she on the court? Yeah, I mean, she's a really good player. She obviously picks the ball up full court almost the whole entire game. Um, honestly, we're a little bit more focused on what we're going to do, um, our own offensive and defensive game plan, and um, a lot of kudos to Texas and what they can do, but we're kind of just trying to stay in our own bubble and really focus on what we're going to bring to the game. Yeah, like she said, she's, she's a great point guard and a great player, but um, I think what's really important is to mostly focus on us and, and what we can do out there as a team, and um, we're going to do that. Do we have any other questions for uh, the two the two student athletes? Yes, Jim, another question? Yeah, for the players, I, I would just go back to Coach's decision at the beginning of the season. What was what was that like uh, when he told the players, um, what's your career been like with him up to this point um, as far as you've come and to be able to put this season together? Obviously, it, it was sad. Uh, you know, it's, it's never something that you want to hear, but um, I personally, and I think it's the same for Rachel and not a lot of other players, but I think we've been very fortunate and lucky to have him as a coach. Uh, me coming as a freshman, I've always had his trust and his belief in me uh, as well as the other teammates. Um, and being able to play a lot of games and a lot of minutes and, and be able to shoot the ball, and I, I, I have to give him a lot of credits for that. Um, and I think uh, he's made my experience here way better and uh, I'm very grateful for him and uh, I think that that's one of the reasons why we had a great season and uh, we wanted to to have it for him. Yeah I mean I remember the day that he told us in the gym and I'm a pretty stoic person but it was it was a little bit emotional. Um, I'm just really proud of the career that he's had. I mean he's put in so many years as a head coach winning a D2 national championship and coming here and doing such great things in the MAC, having winning seasons pretty much every single year. Um, so I'm just really happy for him and excited that I got to be a part of his program for a full entire four years. Um, I've definitely gone through a lot of growth under his tutelage. I mean, I came in as a point guard who wasn't highly recruited out of high school and didn't really play a lot of minutes my freshman year. And I think he's really helped me to blossom into what I have been able to do this year, especially. Um, and I just have a lot of love for him, a lot of respect for him, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to be able to play for him. We'll go back to a question uh, from Austin American statesman Danny Davis. Rachel, um, obviously Lou's stats speak for themselves, and we talked to Texas earlier. Obviously they had a lot of things to say about her from what they'd seen on film, but as someone who plays with her and um, has been her teammate for a while, what can you tell us about her and what she brings to your team? Yeah, you know, I honestly love coming to press conferences with the girls sitting next to me because I usually get to brag on her just about every time. <laughs> um, I mean, coming in, I remember freshman summer school, I saw the girls shoot the ball the first day, and I was like, wow, I can't believe I get to be her teammate. Um, she's done incredible things for us every single year, just being the rookie of the year, now being the player of the year in her senior year. Um, I have nothing but great things to say about her. Every single day during practice, she comes in, she works hard, she works like she hasn't won anything, um, is just super humble. I'm so proud to be her teammate. I'm so blessed that I get to pass the ball to her every night. Um, and she works, like I said, like she hasn't earned anything. Um, and she just always comes in with a chip on her shoulder. Uh, nothing but great things to say about Lou. Lou, you got to return the favor. You got to <laughs> say something nice about Rachel now. Yeah, that's the thing. Every time she says something, I'm like, all right, no. it's I don't even have to because I, I mean those things. But um, Rachel is also a great teammate, a great friend, and a great competitor. I mean, um, 
being teammates for four years and, and coming as fre freshmen with her. Um, it's always been great. Uh, she's grown a lot as a, as a point guard. I know it's not easy to have that position. Uh, there is a lot of um, you know, um, responsibility on your shoulders and I think she's been doing a great job. Um, she, she's really a fighter on, on the court and she's someone who's never gonna give up and always gonna trust her teammates and, and everyone ar around her and she has that poise and passion for the game. And it's always been great just to be on the court with her and, and win games. And during the ups and downs, we've always had our, our backs. And, and I'm so blessed to be her teammates every day. Any other questions for um, either Lou or uh, Rachel? If not, ladies, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for your comments. Best of luck to you tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Thanks you so much. In a moment, we'll continue with coaches from uh, with, with questions and uh, comments from Coach Frager. And again, in the virtual environment, if anyone wants to ask a question, please use the raised hand function, and we'll call on you momentarily. Questions for Coach? We'll start again with Jim Vertuno from AP. Coach, I'd ask you first about uh, Rory Harmon, um, just how disruptive she is on defense, and what she's able to do on both ends of the court, really, and, and how difficult is it going to be to deal with, with her? Yeah, she's a, <coughs> she's a special talent. She really is. Um, I think she denied me trying to get to the elevator today. She wouldn't let me. I thought she'd got in our hotel lobby and started to deny us th there. But no, she'll, uh, <laughs> she'll disrupt. She really, really will. And uh, th the thing that she usually does a really good job of is she pressures the ball, but she doesn't foul much. You know, and that's that's a unique skill to be able to apply the type of pressure that she does. And it's not just it's not just Harmon, the entire team. It's just the way a Coach Schaefer team plays. It's they're going to guard you from end line to end line. They're going to be extremely physical. Um, it's something we've tried to prepare our players for. And uh, like they said, there's only so many variables we can control. And we've just really tried to focus on, you know, being the best Fairfield we can and, and trying to dictate the terms as much as we possibly can on Friday. Jim, do you have a follow-up question at this time? Okay. Um, any other questions for Coach? Yes, back to Danny Davis from the Austin American Statesman for the next question. And again, a reminder, if you are in the virtual environment and you wish to ask a question, use the raised hand function. Thank you. Joe, what, what is the mentality you feel from your team? Do you feel that they're happy to be here? Do you feel that they're, we have something to prove? And what, what kind of mentality do you, do you see from your players? Well, I mean... Uh, they're obviously excited to be here. Um, I think they're realistic about the challenge that we face. I mean, we know how good Texas is. Um, but, you know, we didn't work all season long. We didn't practice all season long just to come down and, you know, just to be happy to be here, to be honest. Um, you know, they want to win. And, and they know that the task is a monumental one. But uh, I'm really confident they're going to come out and, and, and do the very best that they can. You know, we've... We've got to take care of the basketball. We've got to do the best we can and try to gang rebound and not let Texas beat us up on the boards. And we really just have to stick true to our team DNA, try to be who we've been all season long. And now's not the time to change that. But you know, Texas is so good at taking teams out of what they want to do offensively. I mean, I've seen it, I probably watched about 10 of their games, and they did it during the Big 12 schedule. They did it during their non-conference schedule. So they're going to turn us over some. We know that. We know that, that that's inevitable. But we've got to keep our poise and kind of have that next play mentality and try not to let those those things snowball. And going, going off the turnovers, you all have not had many this season. Is that more a function of the defenses you've been facing? Is that more a function of Rachel just being a veteran point guard and knowing how to run an offense, what would you kind of attribute the lack of turnovers to? Yeah, I'd have to give Rachel a lot of credit. I think a lot of it goes to Rachel, a lot of it goes to our style of play. Um, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, we face some teams that, that, that like to press and be very aggressive and be very physical. We face some of those teams. Uh, I think Texas is clearly going to be the best of those at, at playing that type of basketball, so that's why it's going to be a huge challenge for us. But 
I think it's attributable to our style of play and the fact that we have seniors and, and Rachel really is an extension of the coaching staff on the floor, knowing where we want to go with the basketball. And we really try to pride ourselves on, on uh, trying to get the ball to players where they can do something good and, and take advantage of their skill set. So hopefully we can uh, do that more often uh, than not on Friday. Um, aside from Rory, is there another player or something that really st stands out about this Texas team when you when you look at the film? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Ebo is is a concern. Uh, they're all a concern, really. I mean, uh, you know, Alan Taylor, uh, uh, but but Ebo's physicality inside is 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 a real concern. You know, um, she's really really improved it during during her career so far, and. Uh, you know, she's very, very strong inside, very physical. Um, you know, in particular, I was looking at their Iowa State game, and in the second half of that game, they really made a concerted effort to start going inside uh, against Iowa State, and it really, I think, started to turn the tide of the game a little bit at that point. So, um, yeah, there's probably not a player on the floor that they put out there that doesn't concern me, but, uh, yeah, she, she stands out. Any other questions for Coach? Uh, we'll come back to Jim Vertuno, AP. Coach, when you made the decision that this was going to be your last season, I mean, you still had the season to play. You've kind of watched it progress, um, and now you've reached this point, and whether it's tomorrow or in a couple weeks from now, I mean, who knows? Um, are you just are you thinking about the finality of that at now at the doorstep? Yeah. Um, several people have asked me that, and I've worked really, really hard at trying to just sort of put that off uh, psychologically, uh, because I think if at any point during the season I started to let my mind go there, I wouldn't be able to do the type of job that I wanted to do for, for these women. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd be lying if I didn't say occasionally it, it creeps in there and you start to think about the, the finality of that. but. Uh, I think it's going to take probably a good month after the season ends for me just to sort of reflect on it all. Uh, I've, I've, I've really worked hard on trying to compartmentalize things and just focus on what's right in front of me. And, uh, you know, whatever happens down the road, we'll, we'll deal with it at that point. But it's definitely been a special run and a special season, and uh, this group has been great. Our coaching staff has been outstanding. Uh, we've had great support from our administration. It's just really it's been a group effort, and, uh, you know, it's – I'll look back on this year with, with a lot of fondness. Anything else for Coach? If not, uh, Coach, I just want to take a second to congratulate you for the great career you've had and for advancing to the NCAA tournament in this final year of yours at Fairfield. And best to you and the team tomorrow against Texas. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you. Thank you.